the SAT loves shortcuts in their problems. And one kind of shortcut that they use a lot for triangles is the special triangles. So let's talk about the two major kinds. The first is, you know, it's I guess it's kind of minor actually. It's the Pythagorean triples. And that's basically just these special tri right triangles that come up a lot. So for instance, the major one that comes up quite often in the SAT is the three, four, five right triangle. And again, these can be, you know, increased to any multiple of these regular ones. So I could have the 6, 8, 10, I could have the 9, 12, 15, and so on. One other kind that you might see occasionally is the 5, 12, 13 triangle and all its multiples. Remember that even if you don't memorize these, even though doing so would be good because it'll speed up certain problems, you can always figure these out with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Given two sides, you can figure them out. There are other triangles though that you'll only be given one side and some angle information. So how do you find the other sides? Well, you use the special right triangles. That's the best way to do it. So there are two special right triangles that they're going to use a lot. One is the 45, 45, 90. And both of these, by the way, are in the front of the test section. They're going to be in that little box area where they've got the formulas. So I recommend you know memorizing them. But if all else fails, you can always look them up. So the basic way to remember your 45, 45, 90 is that you've got two angles of 45 degrees each which means that this is an isosceles triangle. If you kind of turn your head, these would be the two congruent sides. So this, if this was length S, that would be length S. This would be length S right here too, because they're congruent. And the side across from the 90, the hypotenuse would be S rat two in this model. So let's, say, get, let's do an example. Let's say I gave you a 45, 45, 90. And I said this was length three. What would be the lengths of the other sides? Well, this is gonna be equal to the other leg, so they're both three. And this is just going to be, well, S is 3, so I just put 3 in front of the rat 2, and I'm done. So pretty straightforward. I also could give you this. I could say, well, here's a triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90. And this is a side of 5 rat 2. What do you do? Well, I know that this is 5 rat 2, so my S must be 5. So I just pop an S on both of those legs, right? That's the basic way to approach that kind of question. We'll come back to 45, 45, 90 in a second. Let's just move to 30, 60, 90. So with 30, 60, 90 has got one side that's 30, or sorry, one angle that's 30, one angle that's 60, and another that, that's 90. Now the side across from the 30 we define to be our side x. The side across from the 60 is going to be x rat 3. And the side across from the uh, 90 degrees, the hypotenuse, is 2x in these cases. So those are going to be your basic patterns. Now, what would be an example of a question? Well, let's imagine I gave you a triangle that looked like this. I said this was, let's make this 30 and this 90. And I said this was four. The key to all these questions is looking for what angle each side is across from. So this one's across from the 30. So this is our X side, which means that since this side across from the 60, that must be 60, must be X rat three. This must be four rat three and the hypotenuse is 2x, or double this short side, so he would be 8. That's the basic idea how to handle these. And again, I could do something similar with, um, you know, giving you 10 as the hypotenuse, and then you'd have to figure out the other sides. Now, there's one little trick that the SAT might do on harder questions, and it looks something like this. What if I gave you this triangle? So I said this is 45 degrees, and that's a right angle, and I said that this was a side of 10. So you look at this and say, well, wait a minute, where's my rat to? It's not there. What do I do? And this is one of the tricks that they're going to do to you. So what you can do in this situation is two things. One, you can say, well, this is just equal to my S rat 2. So to get this as S, I would just divide both sides by rat 2. So I would get S is 10 over rat 2. And there you go. Each of these sides would be there, therefore be 10 over rat 2. And if you wanted to, you could reduce and simplify. But don't worry about that too much, because usually you'll be able to get the answer as a decimal. Uh, maybe I'll show you that in a second just to be complete. All right, so that's one way to say, well, this is equal to S rat 2, so let me just set it equal to that, solve for S, and I got my sides. Another way to see it is, well, to go from the hypotenuse to a side, I divide by rat 2, so I'll take my 10 and divide it by rat 2, right? Just as I take my side and I multiply by rat 2 to go to hypo my hypotenuse, I would say if I had 5, I'd have 5 rat 2. And if I had 5 rat 2, I'd go down to 5. So it's just the order of how you do either the multiply or the divide. And if you don't have an S rat 2, like if I said we got a 45, 45, 90, 
and this was 6 rat 2, you'd say, well, wait a minute, this is supposed to be the rat 2. Well, it doesn't matter. Just multiply this by rat 2, which would be rat 2 times rat 2 is 2, so 2 times 6 is 12. That would be 12, right? So that's the basic idea with how to handle those. One thing about rationalizing, if I had 10 over rat 2, how do I get that to be not have a radical in the denominator because the SAT and math doesn't really like that that much? Basically, multiply the top and the bottom by rat 2 over rat 2. This top becomes 10 rat 2. The bottom, rat 2 times rat 2, we talked about in the square roots video, is just 2, which then simplifies the 5 rat 2. So that's just the quick method. What about the 30, 60, 90 triangle? Let's say I gave you, the SAT gave you this kind of problem. So this is going to be the 30. This will be the 60. And here's 90. And we're told that this side right here is 10. We well, look at this and say, well, wait a minute. The side across from the 60 usually has a rat 3 next to it. This doesn't have a rat 3. This is usually equal to x rat 3. What do we do? Well, what you do is we kind of what we did before. Set this equal to 10 and solve for x. So if I divide both sides by x, I say x is 10 over rat 3, which I could rationalize if I wanted to. Well, 10 over rat 3, well, that's my x. So I remember the side across from the 30 is x. So that's just going to be 10 over rat 3. And the side across from the hypotenuse is 2x, which in this case would be 2 times 10 over rat 3, or 20 over rat 3. So these don't come up too much. Usually it's just going to be a straightforward application of the 45, 45, 90, or the 30, 60, 90 triangles. But just in case, that's how you would handle them.